Hey, good afternoon. This is Spirit Journey, and today is August 12th, 2017, and it is 12.25 p.m. I want to get this message out before I forget. I was watching this new YouTuber, and I even subscribed to his channel. I like his I, I like his able to speak and I can understand him. Uh, he's uh, middle age. He sports a hat and a beard. Very distinguished looking, and he's a veteran. And he all his life he's encountered spiritual things, near death experiences, things that happened to him in the military. And so I've been been watching him. Today's the first day I ever heard of him, you know, seen any of his videos. And it's, it's easy listening. Well, with one of the videos, he talked about him going to India. And he's been in India many, many times. And during his time in India, this one person, he, he gets to an ashram. And the person there says to him, the person that works there or, or is in charge of the place runs to him and says, I've been waiting for you. Uh, I want you to tell me, you know, um, what I need to know. Something to that effect, like to, for answers about his life and about life in general. So here this man, this YouTuber, had, sorry, had come all this way from the main, U.S. mainland to go to India and he went there, you know, for spirituality, to get answers. And yet someone is asking him the same question. So here, two people who have the same interests, getting answers about themselves. And he's going on this YouTube, he's elaborating. And then it hit me that here, both of them have the same goals about finding answers about their own lives. And I, it, I feel that what was going on is, see, this YouTuber had the answers in him. He has a series of answers inside of him. And I think all of us, big or small, have answers within them, just like that man or that place had answers within itself. So... You're going to find people who might see you and say, hey, uh, buddy, hey, 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 hey girlfriend, um, I have a question. I, I think you have the answer, what I need. And what, the, what I think what, what's happening is that, as I said, they see answers within you. They don't know whether it's the answer that they're looking for, but they know you know something and vice versa. It's almost like we're looking at it in a mirror and we're both looking outward, seeing a reflection, but it, everybody's the same. I used to think growing up, everybody had the answers but me. And I think that could be a dangerous thing to do when you think everyone has the answer. I'm starting to think all of us have answers. We just have to find it. We have to just open the door within us. How we do it, some of us do it by different means, whether it be meditation or doing ayahuasca, you know, etc., or going to a spiritual advisor. And it's like part of the part of the problem what I'm facing with now. Like I'm basically in the same boat, looking for answers. And I even bought a whole slew of books, books, tons and tons of books, and I'm buying more books, trying to find answers. And I see that I was getting a little frustrated because I'm reading and reading, but not really finding, or you find some things, but it's like overwhelming. And I stop reading because I see that, hey, I, I think with more 
reading I do, the more questions I have. And it leaves, leaves me feeling more frustrated. So I started thinking, I said, you know, let me put these books down for a while. And let me try to go within. I see that I was afraid to look within. And that's what I told the fellow also. I, 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 I commented back on his video. But yeah, I think we have to be ready for answers. And that even though we may all say we're looking for the truth, the, the truth could be really, you know, really challenging. And you might think things are bigger than it really is. And part of the fear is finding out it's really nothing. And But you build it up to such a big monster. I think that we're all the same. You might see someone who looks really mature and distinguished looking. They, they look like the, the wise man or wise woman, you know, full of age and, and wisdom. But, you know... If you look in yourself, at yourself in the mirror, that wisdom is there too. We need to stop doubting ourselves. We have wisdom within us, but we start to doubt, doubt ourselves. And I see that that's what I was doing a lot of times, doubting myself. And when you doubt yourself, it's like saying that you have a precious jewel and then you hold contempt to it, and you throw it away. No, that's your magic. That is your magic. When you accept yourself and not doubt yourself, you're, you're embracing what you have, all of what you have, even if it's as, as small as a grain of sand. Stop throwing away your pearls and utilize that grain that you do have because it will multiply for you. So that's all that I have to share right now, and I hope you enjoyed. Take care.